guys ready? No trouble at all. What? No. Go ahead. Is this on? Um, yeah, the first part. Fifty-nine. Yeah. Fifty-nine. Yeah. Ninety. Page eleven. Page eleven. Five one. Are we doing another series? All right. Are we starting again? That's one of the best places to start. I always thought the whole volume was really good to begin. Yeah? Green Yeah. All right. What is it, then, which has made the souls forget their father, God, and be ignorant of themselves and him, even though they are parts which come from his higher world and altogether belong to it? The beginning of evil for them was audacity and coming to birth. Since they were clearly delighted with their own independence and made great use of self-movement, running the opposite course and getting as far away as possible, they were ignorant even that they themselves came from that world. Just as children who are immediately torn from their parents and brought up far away do not know who they themselves or their parents are. Since they do not any more see their father or themselves, they despise themselves through ignorance of their birth and honor other things, admiring everything rather than themselves, and, astonished and delighted by and dependent upon those earthly things, they broke themselves loose as far as they could in contempt of that from which they turned away. So that their honor for these things here and their contempt for themselves is the cause of their utter ignorance of God. For what pursues and admires something else admits at the same time its own inferiority. But by making itself inferior to things which come into being and perish, and considering itself the most contemptible and the most liable to death of all the things which it admires, it could not possibly have any idea of the nature and power of God. One must therefore speak in two ways to men who are in this state of mind. If one is going to turn them round, to what lies in the opposite direction and is primary, and to lead them up to that which is highest, one, and first. What then are these two ways? One shows how contemptible are the things now honored by the soul, and this we shall develop more amply all elsewhere, but the other teaches and reminds the soul how high its birth and value are. And this is prior to the other one, and when it is clarified, will also make the other obvious. This is what we must speak about now. It is close to the subject of our investigation, and will be useful for that other discourse. Yeah, good. Just for a second. I have a... Translation. Ah! <laughs> what is it now? which is made the souls <clears throat> in an amnesic state. For they have lost all hint of their origin. And so, ignorant of their origin, <clears throat> able to distinguish the nature of themselves. They seek satisfaction in other things. Blocked by amnesia from returning to their source. the state people then is that they're delighted there's a clash of images isn't it I mean, there's a moral judgment the beginning of evil for them the beginning of the fall 
practice is a fault, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Saying audacity. <coughs> right? And an impelling when it's coming to birth. And wishing to belong to themselves. Uh, this is the element they speak of when they when they say that there is an element of Plotinus that is stoic. This is stoic. This is stoic. That's a stoic. Moral morality. But alongside of it, right alongside of it, there are other images which are not consistent with that. Because if we are this depraved, we would expect a certain state of mind to be present. But we're clearly delighted, right, with our own independence. Clearly delighted. That's, a, that's a mental state. We make great use of self love. You know, and we're ignorant. That's all that says, isn't it? But it's a very it's positive, isn't it? Study. Delighted great use of self and running in any way as far as we can. And by the way, we're ignorant of ourselves. Right? Agree? Mm -hmm. right? They're admiring everything rather than themselves. They're delighted. They're making great use. They're being exploratory. They're astonished. They're delighted. <coughs> Is that what you say? About the first thing? What? Well, <coughs> what, about the bond positive, the, <coughs> what about the bottom of the first, first page? <coughs> the analogy with the children that are torn from their parents. Well, that goes back to the negative image again. I'm saying he has, got, he has these two. Mm. You see, there's nothing in this in that analogy that justifies the use of the word torn. Yeah, because, yeah, because that was a choice. Separated. Well, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, but they're in a state of ignorance of where their parents were, so they wouldn't just they wouldn't be able to identify with the image of being torn. That's that's when you're sure. awake and alert and can recall. That's right. <coughs> so that analogy is it's functioning like a stoic. Stoics write this way. Right? But that's a built, that's a uh, They despise themselves <coughs> in the ignorance of their birth. Well, you see, notice you, the same thing is true there, isn't it? Because that's a positive, that could be a positive despise. Really? I mean, do they really despise themselves? Well, you see, you can't. They despise themselves through ignorance of their birth. But that's not despising. That, it's not. That doesn't describe They like it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's, that's stoic. That's a yeah. stoic judgment. They like the independence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right? And they're honoring other things, admiring everything rather than themselves. Well, they're ignoring themselves. Yeah. Right, it has a moral cast to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, is, is evil over here in the Greek for people who read? Yeah, it's kind of cow. So they could even like... To just be bad. Yeah, and yeah. it could be just like discarding the who they are and turning totally to, in an admiration and delight. Yeah. It, I mean, that's in the Greek too. Is that what you, the point you're making? No, I was just, <coughs> I was just saying that we, I, I'd like to see that, but we were, we, it's possible that that's not in the Greek, that that yeah, moral cast I'm, is yeah. in English. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, uh, no, see, in O'Brien, uh, and, and when they have gone a great distance, that they even forget that they came from it, like children separated from their families since birth and educated away from home. They're ignorant now of their parentage and therefore of their identity. So it's neutral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But a lot of these terms better be on the left-hand side of this page. Boy. Or this guy is a stoic. Talks mm -hmm. a little bit stoic. What do you mean he's like the? That's a, it's a philosophical. It's, it's a moralistic universe <coughs> that sees primary terms in good and evil. Mm. Kind of philosophical as a rationalism. Kind of. 
Pardon? Kind of a philosophical outgrowth of Zoroastrianism or something. Probably. Probably. Well, that, that duality doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but they, they, so their so kick so is moral. Yeah. They're yeah. moral yeah. rationalists. Well, Stoics deal in duality? Good and evil. Good and evil. Good and evil. Good and evil. Good. Yeah. So, if you see, hmm. well, let me read just the first part of this. How is it then that souls forget the divinity that we got them? So that divine by nature, divine by origin, they now know neither divinity nor self. This evil that has befallen them has its source in self-will, in being born, in becoming different in desiring to be independent. Once having tasted the pleasures of independence, they use their freedom to go in a direction that leads away from their origin. And when they have gone a great distance, they even forget that they came from it, like children separated from their families since birth and educated away from home. They're ignorant now. Parentage, therefore their identity. Right? Our souls know neither who nor whence they are. Because they hold themselves sheep and, and, and accord their admiration and honor to everything to themselves. <laughs> they bestow esteem, love, sympathy on anything rather than on themselves. They cut themselves off as much as they do from things about them. They forget their word. Origin, ignorance of origin is brought by excessive valuation of sense objects and disdain of self. For to pursue something, hold it here implies acknowledgement of inferiority, but it's pursued, right? As soon as the soul thinks it's worth less. And being subject to birth and death, and, you know, consider itself least honorable in doing the law, it can no longer grasp the nature and power of the divinity. So he just got a cast to it. Armstrong, I Yeah, McKenna is the best translation. Pardon? McCann is the better translation. Certainly straight. Yeah. It is. Uh, if you look at very the, straight. If you look at the Greek both sides, he's more consistent than Armstrong yeah. or O'Brien. Yeah. Are you re do you have it right there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah do that one. Mm -hmm. What can it be that has brought the souls to forget the Father, God, and though members of the divine and entirely of that world, to ignore at once themselves and it? The evil that has overtaken them has its source in self-will. In the entry into the sphere of process and in the primal differentiation with the desire for self-ownership, they conceived the pleasure in this freedom and largely indulged their own motion. Thus they were hurled down the wrong, hurried down the wrong path and in the end, drifting further and further, they came to lose even the thought of their origin in the divine. A child wrenched young from home and brought up during many years at a distance will fail in knowledge of its father and of itself. The souls in the same way no longer discern either the divinity of their own nature, neither uh, no longer discern either the divinity of or their own nature. The ignorance of their rank brings self depreciation. They misplace their respect, honoring everything more than themselves. All their awe and admiration is for the alien, and clinging to this, they have broken apart as far as a soul may. And they make light of what they have deserted. They regard their regard for the mundane and their disregard of themselves brings about their utter ignoring of the divine. Like their <coughs> the choice of images puts you in different philosophical sense mm -hmm. systems. Yeah. <coughs> right, like the emotional load you carry when you read. Mm -hmm. yeah, Pick really your translation and take a different trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this gives a religious <laughs> flavor here. You know, it's good and evil. It's just don't moral stuff. Calvinist clear in some places. Yeah, probably a Calvinist. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh boy. He's clearer in many places than any of I mean, they all have their have some merit. Sure. Them. Sure. I yeah. thought that that was much closer to O'Brien. The McKenna. McKenna? Yeah. Yeah, there were some yeah but Armstrong in other places is 
Uh-huh. You know, because there were some things he did that uh, O'Brien did by collapsing so it starts to embed it meaning. The term for tearing away or wrenching away, as um, as McKenna does it, is is interesting because it's it is a term that is used for tearing a um, like a slit from a grapevine when you take off a piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? There's a slit torn from a tree, a vine branch, or a bunch of of grapes, and can mean to tear or drag away, and in the passive it means to be dragged away, to be detached, or to be separated. Separated from the brine. When it says a slit torn from a tree, I must, I, it seems as if what he's talking about is those, that part of the tree that can be taken and graft, right, yeah, or can grow apart from the tree mm-hmm. in that sense. Something by So it seems like Plotinus is choosing it as an idea of continuing the image of uh, torn from the father and yet of the same stock as the divine. Mm-hmm. He's, keeping a, no. he's keeping an image he's going. Keeping image going. But he doesn't want to suggest yeah. that wrenching separation, but rather just that, mm-hmm. that, uh, that image. A shoot that is taken. So not moral in that Growing sense. in an alien soil. Yeah. Yeah. Husband. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Husband. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Care of plants. Grafting. All that kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. That's guy more works, purpose. The guy works in a vineyard or something. Mm-hmm. He's familiar with it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting different kinds of grapes and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I think one of those mm-hmm. is up in Napa County making one. <laughs> <laughs> but slips don't forget. <laughs> So, it's a good place to make sure okay? Because this is where he ships gear, doesn't it? Bottom of 13? Yeah, after you drink that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. That's the first one. Yeah. 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 And it should and it should know what it is as an investigating soul, so that it may learn first about itself, whether it has the power to investigate things of this kind, and if it has an eye of the right kind to see them, and if the investigation is suitable for it. For if the objects are alien, what is the point? But if they are akin, the investigation is suitable, and discovery is possible. He has that moral flavor in the last paragraph. Yeah, could you read it again? It's really different. Seven? There's something there. I didn't quite hear. I want to hear it again after you said it. For that which investigates is the soul, and it should know what it is as an investigating soul, so that it may learn first about itself, whether it has the power to investigate things of this kind, and if it has an eye of the right kind to see them, and if the investigation is suitable for it. For if the objects are akin, are mm-hmm. alien, mm-hmm. if the objects are alien, what is the point? But if they are sugenic, if they are of the same source or same, of the same kind. race, the investigation is suitable and discovery is possible. What does he do with it? Same. What is suitable? suitable. 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 Uh, okay, no. Objects, it's relative. Appropriate, yeah. appropriate, appropriate yeah. Right? suitable, fitting. becoming to it, fitting, uh-huh. prosaking uh-huh. is what they're doing with that. Yeah, just the living answer. Objects, yeah. Um, for that which investigates is the soul, and it should know what it is as an investigating soul, so that it may learn first about itself, whether it has the power to investigate things of this kind and if it has an eye of the right kind to see them, and if the investigation is suitable for it. Right. They're all in the Okay, so the last two sentences. For if the objects are alien, what is the point? But if they are akin, the investigation is suitable, pro sake, same term, and discovery is possible. Yeah, the, the, the judgment is suitable is, is the person. 
whether it's capable of such an investigation as an eye capable of such seeing mm -hmm. and whether such seeing pardon me, such seeking is its function so that's a lot different mm -hmm. right? you're going from whether you are suitable to whether, you, whether um, mm -hmm. uh, such seeking is its function Different class of judgment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could you read yours one second? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is the soul that desires to know. Therefore, the soul must first examine its own nature in order to know itself and decide whether it's capable of such an investigation. Has an eye capable of such seeing, and whether such seeking is its function. It's not in there. Function? No, that it desires to know. That's not there. It's a soul that investigates. Zeta. Mm -hmm. That's desire. So that's they're right. That it's you know, just it's so important to know when you start out a word where the translator is. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. That's the value of a couple of copies in front of you, All right? So that when you get to something that you enjoy looking at, you can bounce back and forth with a couple of translations. So thank goodness we have a different translation, mm -hmm. right? This, this, this is really neutral. If the things it seeks are alien to the soul, what good will it seeking do? You know, just, hey, if it's empty, let's face it, I mean, it's not within its powers or its functions. Well, obviously, what good will it seek? But, yeah, it's, it's a matter of fact. But if the soul is akin to that and it seeks that, it can find that. Okay, because he's going to have a, he has a method, he has a method of proceeding. Step by step. Right? Yeah, he's got a method proceeds. of proceeding. Yeah. So, like, you know, when you catch on to these, like, it's consistent, isn't it, the way this guy looks at it, the way he looks at it, and thank goodness the way the other translation goes, right? So, what do we do? What do we push on? That's the one. Let every soul then first consider this, that it made all living things itself, breathing life into them, those that the earth feed and those that are nourished by the sea, and the divine stars in the sky. It made the sun itself and this great heaven and adorned it itself and drives it round itself in orderly movement. It is a nature other than the things which it adorns and moves and makes live. And it must necessarily be more honorable than they, for they come into being or pass away when the soul leaves them or grants life to them. But the soul itself exists forever because it does not depart from itself. 
This is how soul should reason about the manner in which it grants life in the whole universe and in individual things. Let it look at the great soul, being itself another soul which is no small one, which has become worthy to look by being freed from deceit and the things that have bewitched the other souls, and is established in quietude. Let not only its encompassing body and the body's raging sea be quiet, but all its environment, the earth quiet and the sea and air quiet and the heaven itself at peace. Into this heaven at rest, let it imagine soul as if flowing in from outside, pouring in and entering it everywhere and illuminating it. As the rays of the sun light up a dark cloud and make it shine and give it a golden look, so soul entering into the body of heaven gives it life and gives it immortality and wakes what lies inert. And heaven, moved with an everlasting movement, motion by the wise guidance of soul, becomes a fortunate living being and gains its value by the indwelling of soul. Before soul it was a dead body, earth and water, or rather the darkness of matter and non-existence and what the gods hate, as the poet says. The power and nature of soul will become still clearer and more obvious. The power and nature of soul will become still clearer and more obvious if one considers here how it encompasses the heaven and drives it by its own acts of will. For soul has itself has given itself to the whole magnitude of heaven as far as it extends, and every stretch of space, both great and small, is in soul. One body lies in one place and one in another, and one is here and another there. Some are separated by being in opposite parts of the universe and others in other ways. But soul is not like this, and it is not by being cut up that it gives life, by a part of itself for each individual thing. But all things live by the whole, and all soul is present everywhere, made like to the Father who begot it, who, who begat it in its unity and its universality. And by its power, the heaven is one, though it is multiple with one part in one place and one in another. And our universe is a God by, a, by the agency of this soul. And the sun also is a God because it is in soul and the other heavenly body. And we, if we are in any way divine, are so for this reason. For corpses are more throwable away than done. But that which is, for the gods, the cause of their being gods, must necessarily be a divinity senior to them. But our soul is of the same kind. And when you look at it without its accretions and take it in its purified state, you will find that very same honorable thing which we said was soul, more honorable than everything which is body, for all bodily things are earth. And even if they are fire, what would its burning principle be but soul? And the same is true of all things compounded of these, even if you add water to them and air as well. But if the bodily is worth pursuing because it is in soul, why does one let oneself go and pursue another? But by admiring the soul in another, you admire yourself. Hmm. <laughs> If it is soul that makes us lovable, why is it that we seek it only in others and not in ourselves? You love others because of it. Love them yourself. <laughs> Since the soul is so honorable and divine a thing, be sure... Since the soul is so honorable and divine? No, no, I mean, what, what are we just... That's a, a section, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. what, what is it that he's describing? What do you call it then? What do you call it? What's this called? Um, kind of a mandala yoga. 
But this is finding out about the nature of itself, right? The soul is finding out about its nature itself first. It's a, it's a uh, meditation. Okay. But this isn't one of the... Right. What kind of meditation is it? Yeah. Recollection. What's it called? Yeah, well, it's guided, guided, uh, guided visualization. Pardon? Guided visualization. Guided visualization. It's a... This is in the... Act of imagination. Yang, or yeah. Yang, what's his name? It's act of imagination. He wants this trans to be So... <coughs> huh? Now, this is the way, right, read your first sentence, Barbara. <coughs> For that which investigate? Are you talking about where? In the, in the, med in the meditation itself? Yeah. The, the, the very this is first how line of the meditation. Yeah, meditation. Go ahead. This is how souls should reason? Go ahead. Or let it. Go ahead. Yeah. This, this, this is, is how souls should reason about the manner in which it grants life to whole universe. Let us. Uh, let every soul then first consider this. Not there. The quietness. But now there's levels of soul here. Yeah, you got levels of soul going on, right? Because he's comparing the ensoulment of the sun with the ensoulment of the gods, and man is most like the ensoulment of the gods, huh? And senior to the ensoulment of the sun. Would you be doing different things if you do three translations? Or would you be doing the same thing? Good question. What's the test of a translation? It should be the same thing if they're all three different words. Right? Because yeah. if you're going to do it, it's yeah. a meditation, you'd be doing different things if you're doing this. Mm -hmm. yes. Right? You'd be doing different things. Which, which one do you want to do? I want to do the best one. Suppose you want to do Plotinus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or at least see what it is. You have a seance or something. Right? Well, they all three might be good to do. Let's check out what some of sense to say first. Okay, and this dude. Oh, how many have? Should, which one should we use first? This one? Okay. Which one? Where are you starting here? Let every soul then, right? Right? Consider. Right? Let every soul then first consider this. Right. Consider that. Alright. See what he's doing? Reflect about this. Huh? Alright, reflect about this. This guy's got? Recall. Right? Each soul. Each should recall. Each right? should recall. Each should recall at the outset. Right? Because we certainly want to see that, you know, what happens in the next paragraph with as much care, right? Okay, he's considering. I think it's in Thumos, rather than What do you want to, what, what, you, what would you add? What would you add? Sincerity. <laughs> no. So, consider, in Thumos, right? Thumos, if you're going to have it in, in your Thumos, it seems like you're, you're, like in the Platonic model, the Thumos is the, mm -hmm. is the high spirit, right? Mm -hmm. So it seems like there's more of the person involved, there's a lot of the person involved, so it depends on how you take the word consider. But it's like his soul's in a more unified condition. How would I translate that? I'm thinking. <laughs> well, well, okay. You see, this isn't being argued for. Right? There's no argument that's demonstrating that uh, soul made all living things. Mm -hmm. and this is so actually much. determined whether or not the objects are alien or not, right? And whether or not this said investigation will be futile. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what this is to accomplish. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, uh, how do you, what do you want to do with well, that? Well, that was the question you asked earlier. You know, what was it for? What is the... Oh. And that... What was it for? Yes, earlier. Right. Yeah. What is, he, what is, what is the purpose of this? What's the object of this? Well, it goes back to the first section. Yeah, and therefore, go ahead. 
so this should be some way of determining your kinship with uh, the objects of the investigation. By a specific practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so the thing, the, just the first point I was just want to make on this is that this is not argued for. Mm. It's not a rat. It's not being put forth as a Well, he's, it sounds like where he's just asking, I consider this, you know, and he's, he's okay, now I'm one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. right? It's like he's in a circle of people that would readily accept us. There's no argument about this. Agree? It's not a, it's not a kind of proving reasoning. Yeah, thing. yeah, it's that's he's not into. He's yeah. taking a trip and wanting to yeah. go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that it made all, all living things, right? Breathing life into them. Those that the earth feeds and those that are nourished by the seas. And, you know, this is the uh, Demiurge. Yeah. The Demiurge is God, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So he's got a demiurge. And each one of us, right? Like in the Chinese, right? So <coughs> or God, the creator, and Hebraic Christian world, right? Because that's what's doing it all. Made it, breathed life into it, right? He's given the title nourish. of uh, soul, mm -hmm. word soul. Yeah. Nurturing, feeding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That sounds like Zeus, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, kind of a... Yeah, it is. Yeah, Zeus. Zeus. Yeah. It's that soul. It is, it is a nature other than the things which it adorns and moves and makes alive, right? It's... it's a separate nature entirely from, it, from how it is functioning, to use a word. Right? Right? right, conclusion. This is how soul should reason about the matter in which it grants life to the whole universe and an individual thing. Right? This is how it should reason. Right? About how, right? He's got a This is how you should reason about the manner in which soul grants life to the whole universe and an individual thing. Just the how you should read it, right? He's got a Demiurgos that's pulling us off, or a Zeus. But most importantly for us, uh, he calls that soul, doesn't he? Okay, so we skip now to the method, all right, to the background, all right? Let it, let it look at the great soul. Right. Now he's back personalizing, right? Well, man looks at Zeus, right? Or yeah, yeah. Jimmy. Right. Let it look at the great soul being itself another soul which is no small one, which has become worthy to look by being freed from the sea and the things that have bewitched the other souls and is established in fire to it, right? So, so the meditation. Saying, uh, he's, he's come, right? This is his past. This is the precondition for this game. Right? The precondition. This is a kind of Yamas and Niyamas and the Ogres. You know, these, are the, these are the preconditions for playing the game. All right, so you, you accept all that, you go along with all that. Right? And good. that's the first left, right? Second let, uh, let not only its uh, encompass and body and the soul, the soul's, pardon me, the body and the body's range in the sea be quiet, right? For all its environment, the air quiet, the air quiet. It's quiet, right? What he's doing here now, he extends. Right? Right. Quietude, the quietude then goes from him all over.
the earth quiet, the sea, and the air quiet, and the heaven itself at peace. That's the condition. Right? That's the condition. Everything's quiet. It's raging sea is kind of like the Ashitani in three pillars. Mm -hmm. The term. Quieting, stealing the waves. And the waves. Right. Everything is like the intelligence. Right. Everything is, yeah. That, there, at peace is the same term. I don't know why he went to at peace because it's quiet, quiet, and quiet. You know? The super. It's at peace. At rest? Even? Yeah. Well, Although he has another term. And therefore, what would you say about that? Oh, well, there's, well, there would be the same same state throughout all. Same quiet. No difference. But when he says into this heaven at rest, that is a different term. That's a non-moving. Just so, I don't so how would you read it if you were to go ahead and do it with that, with that thought in mind? It just a different, not much, much, because it would just be let not only its encompassing body and the body's raging sea be quiet, but all its environment, the earth quiet, the sea and air quiet, and the heaven itself quiet. Into this heaven into this heaven that is not moving, let it imagine the soul. At rest is okay, as long as... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like this is a, what's called the quiet stage, right? Mm -hmm. Runs through, runs through all. Mm -hmm. We're back to our last board. <laughs> Quieted everything, calmed everything. Be calmed at all. Let's go. That's better. Calmed at all. <coughs> Three bubbles. Okay. Let it imagine the soul as if flowing in from outside. Say that. Right? Let it imagine soul as if flowing in from outside, pouring in, entering it everywhere, and illuminating it. Right, the whole thing now is illuminated. You've got the whole blooming thing all lit up, doesn't it? Huh? Right? Got the whole thing lit. Just, just in the same way as the rays of the sun light up a dark cloud, and make it shine, and give it a golden look. So soul entering into the body, heaven gives it life, gives it immortality, and wakes with lies and nerve. So that's that's a stage, right? Alright? It's great. Very nice clear stage. You see it all flowing in, right? It lights up everything, alright? It's all lit up.
light it up. And heaven, right, which is all lit up, moved with a last emotion by the wise guidance guidance of soul. And, uh, and from it becomes a uh, fortunate with a band. Dangerous body of body. And long soul. Therefore, before it, you know, blah, 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 and blah. Right? And all of this is alive, right? And it's all alive. And it's going somewhere, doesn't it? Agree? Right? It's going somewhere. Right? It's being driven by the will of the soul. It calls it soul. Right? It's driven. Alive. Isn't it? That place here? Do you mind stepping aside so you can see your artwork? Well, that was meant to ask the, yeah. This pouring in, a lot of these green things. Right. Imagine soul as it flowing in from outside, pouring in and entering it everywhere and illuminating it. Those are the straight lines as the rays of light, as the rays of the sun light up the dark cloud. But something does exist before it comes in, right? I mean, it would be like matter. There's some type of existence. And heaven now, okay, now it's animated, moves with an everlasting motion. It's got wides. It's got, uh, it moves. It's put into motion. Therefore, there's wise guidance behind it, not so the soul. Right? So the whole heavens is then driven, as it were, by a wise, kind of an intellectual scene. Right? It says guide. intelligent soul. In the right? Intelligent soul. Right. right. There is leadership there. Right. Yeah. Okay, the power and nature of soul that's doing all that will become still clearer and more obvious if one considers here how it encompasses the heavens and drives it by its own acts of will. Right? Like this, where would it? It's a, it's a uh, immortal being, right? Soul is spread throughout the universe. Has all of those aspects that uh, we attribute to it. He's saying, therefore, that So, to keep, the, keep this in mind, right? every soul, right? in every living thing, right? they have a transcendent quality. Right? I mean, what he's talking about is an all sentient thing, all, all sentient life. Mm -hmm. And the heavens. Yeah, the sun and the, right, the whole thing. Earth, the sun, the activities of the cosmos, all of that. Right? So the whole thing is a fortunate, intelligent being and gains its value by this indwelling soul. Right? This indwelling soul gives its value. Therefore, it's, you know, it's great. Right? There's a greatness, right? Greatness. Right? Greatness to the demir. Demir. Right? his thesis. Soul is uh, not cut up. <coughs> right? 
<coughs> but all, right here's his conclusion, which is really interesting. But all things live by that. Right? By the whole. And all soul is present everywhere. There's kind of like two, two aspects of soul. Made like to the Father who begat it. So you can see it was around it. Right? So it's like a, a whole universe has a soul. Their soul is in the heart. <coughs> yeah, it's still whole. Uh, see, take the word soul out, and what happens when you put in Zeus? Right? Or demiurgos. Right? What's the dude doing? The Timaeus. Pardon? The Timaeus. One living Oh, being. yes, this is certainly Timaeus. Uh, I don't know if you remember that. Uh, look what he's doing with the Timaeus. Because now, uh, like, you, would you agree what this is going to would be something like this, would it not? Uh, so you're elevating the individual soul. Right, right. So, yeah. The, the demiurge, right? Demiurge goes, is imminent in all. In all. Yeah, well, the problem of imminence he gets into later on. It's like not that the body is in, the soul is in body. It's the other way around. Yeah, that's right. That's right, because it's everywhere. Yeah, the whole yeah, body is in yeah, the soul. Yeah. You yeah. Can't, yeah. Even, can't even use the dimensions of space. Right? Yeah. It's beyond it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right? So, another way of putting it might be then. But uh, the enemy, the degenerators, or Zeus, he's saying, he's in everything. And therefore, all right, anything else? You say, hey, that's what's divine. Life is divine. Right? On the highest order. <laughs> it's, it's even, so, even higher than the soul of the sun. Right. The smallest of <coughs> soul, whatever it is, he's saying, hey, life, intelligence, it exhibits to whatever degree. Zeus. It's all Zeus. It's all Zeus life. Demiurgos life. Psyche life. But the most interesting thing about it is that th 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 this is a totality. Right? There's a totality. This is separate and distinct. Right? But it all participates right, in, into a totality. That itself is a living God. Agree? Mm -hmm. Right? Except it has a hierarchy. Yeah, it does. It has a hierarchy. Right? The eternal. This growth is different than sensations. Right. It's different than meat. Or deity. Right. That's what he terms. The divinization the divinization of nature. Right? As well as the cosmos and the hands. Quite quite indeed interesting why you can describe that. Sure. Um, With the notion of the the guidance and the leadership, it also picks up the model that we had from the Cratylus of the pure mind, mm -hmm. not as well as the Zeusian, because they're passing through and ordering all things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, that's the function of the function. That's what causes the gods to be divine. Yeah. So that is what the gods to be divine. Even higher than the soul of all the sun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so souls are right now. But all things live by the whole, and all soul is present everywhere. Made like to the Father who be got it in its unity and its universality. That's what's a good thing. There's not one part over here and another part right. over there. Wherever it is, all of it's there. <laughs> it's always it's it's totally there wherever it is. That's right. <laughs> That's what's so great. We picked that up in Parmenides, didn't we? Well, you have all those models of participation. You have to wrangle out into the times. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it was the yeah. third or fourth. It's not separate from itself, but it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, remember that. Whether you were the part of the whole from which you perspective you were looking at. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, indeed, huh? Right. And by its power, heaven is one. Right? Sure. Because it's everywhere, yeah. every time. And Though it is multiple, time. one part, one part, one part. Right. The universe is a God by the agency of the soul. Right? So, uh, I'd like to see the... Uh, the other translation. So you want to read it? Mm-hmm. Just go back over it. Mm-hmm. The picture of the soul flowing into this tranquil mass from all sides, streaming into it, spreading through it with its luminous as the rays of the sun lighten and fill the blackest clouds so of the soul lying in the body of the universe gives it light and immortality. The objectiveness of it, the universe moved eternally by an intelligent soul becomes blessed and alive. The soul's presence gives value to the universe, but before it was no more than an earth floats, water, and earth floats, rather dark so matter and uh, non-being, and the object of power to the gods of so on and so. Yes, you see, yes, a religious cast of the dragon, doesn't it? Oh, Brian. Oh, there's a... Uh, right, there's a mystic side to O'Brien's translation, in terms of poetic, deeply poetic, isn't it? Yeah, it's not that uh, heavy... Uh, Morality thing it's in the center Soul's nature? Just so we can compare it quick. The soul's nature and the power reveal themselves still more clearly in the way it envelops and rules the world in accordance with its will. It is present in every point of the world's immense mass animating all its segments, great and small. <coughs> While two bodies cannot be in the same place and are separated from each other both spatially and otherwise, the soul is not thus extended. It need not divide itself to give life to each particular individual. Although it animates particular things, it remains whole and is present in its wholeness resembling in this indivisibility and omnipresence its begetter, the intelligence. It is through the power of the soul that this world of multiplicity and variety is held within the bonds of unity. It is through its presence that this world is divine. Divine the sun because in soul, so too the stars. And whatever we are, we are on its account. We are on its account. For a corpse is viler than a dunghill. The deities owe their divinity to a cause necessarily their superior. Our soul is the same as the soul which animates the deities. Strip it of all things infesting it. Consider it in its original purity, and you will see it to be of equal rank with the soul, superior to everything that is body. The body, without the soul, is nothing but earth. If one may fire the basic element, one still needs a principle to give life to its flame. It is the same even if one combines earth and fire or adds them to water and air as well. If it is soul that makes us lovable, why is it that we seek it only in others and not in ourselves? If you love others because of it, love them in yourself. Could 
the other one put the intelligence as the beginner? <coughs> the other translation, do they have the intelligence in there? In the one we just read? The, I, I have the, the one same one that. Have yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't recall in the low? hearing that. In, in the, the low, low, yeah. I know intelligence comes up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His, the end of his translation and the end of the Armstrong, where his says, if it is soul that makes, if it is soul that makes us lovable, why is it that we seek it only in others and not in ourselves? And then it sounds as though he's giving a construction. You love others because of it. Love then yourself. And then Armstrong, it's it has a different. But if the bodily is worth pursuing because it is ensouled, why does one let oneself go and pursue another? But by admiring the soul in another, you admire yourself. Is that the end? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No stamps, send in for additional information for 25 cents a point. <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting thing. Did you remember? <laughs> I mean, does that follow? <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> no, really good. Okay. It is. But if the bodily is worth pursuing because it is ensouled, why does one let oneself go and pursue another? But by admiring the soul in another, you admire yourself. So that's just more or less saying, hey, that's enough. That's okay. You don't have to go on to know yourself. Yeah, to know yourself. To go on to admire yourself. Just by admi admiring others, you, you've made the grade, right? Hmm. You are admiring yourself by admiring the soul in the other. Oh, it's like the same mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. So that answers why you're doing that. This one says, some do that. Yeah. 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 Or you're yeah. doing it for yourself, right. other people, yeah. but why don't you, you do it for yourself? Yeah. yeah, so this is the same area. Yeah. 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 By doing that, you yeah. you're making the grade. Yeah. Yeah. Same area. Yeah. Yes, but this is the instruction. Okay, Barbara, what does the Greek say? Yeah, rational Right? Yeah. Interesting. How does the Greek go? Which Love others and you'll love yourself. For, you mean for love or admire? For well, that, by that by line, line. What, what, which translation goes? Let's try McKenna, let's try that. I, I don't that care, I'm keeping O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I like you. I'm like you. Like you. Like you. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy keeps up with us. I'm keeping several seconds. But, you know, it would be worth knowing, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's McKenna's relation? There's two translations. In the arms, I'm on 19. O'Brien's going to lose on this one. O'Brien will take a long adjective clause of the long adjective clause of the long adjective clause of the long adjective Like there it says make a cloud golden. This one will just say gold. That's a long adjective clause of the long adjective clause of the long it looks like it's, it's fun. it looks like it's fair to say by admiring the soul of another you love yourself. That looks like it's fair to, to do that. Say it again. It looks like the translation in Go ahead. In, in that is it is possible yeah. because of the, because of the construction in the Greek. Yeah. Well, if it's the if the soul is the same in all things. In so doing, it's rather like that mm -hmm. rather than by mm -hmm. in yeah, so different. admiring the soul in, in admiring the soul of another you are admiring yourself. yourself. Actually, and not even sure. the soul in yourself. Because the soul is all the same, right? Yeah, this guy yeah. made it into a moral tale. Mm -hmm. They shift. Well, why is it that That's you don't see it? Sort of yeah. Well, why is it that you don't see it? A statement of fact. This guy say, hey, here's another practice. Because you don't mm -hmm. know. You know, you really yeah. sit around yeah. and yeah. you yeah. yeah. wouldn't yeah. be doing yeah. something and the other you wouldn't at all. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's not twenty right. yeah, it's, it's interesting how it's to the person you just have to right. Right. Just so you have a pursuit with one translation and, and hey, you notice something. Uh, you know, hey, want to know something? Something yeah. It's kind of, you can take out Brian's to kind of make you have a little appreciation for others as well. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. 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 Yeah
Would you not agree? He's got a con, right? If, if someone's going to practice this, it's worth knowing which translation you're going to practice. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the point I want to go with all that. Pardon? Well, kind of like you slough off certain things or you hone in on certain things. Yeah. Well, why does one let oneself go and pursue another? You know, like, uh, Like, what do you have to do? What do you have to do to do it? What do you have to do to do it? Well, you'd have to see what you admire in another soul, wouldn't you? Start that. Way. Yeah, I meant the whole the, the whole oh. section that we've gone through. Yes, including that. Mm. Right? Mm. Like you. Mm -hmm. Like, in one sense, it's it's just a reflection. Yeah. I, no I notice something. I want to show you something. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. There's a burning principle. Of the, you get a principle of the soul. Right? Right. Like, what would you have to do to do it? If you were going, like, would you look at this and say, "I do it maybe for thirty dollars a day"? Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I do it. I do it. I mean, I mean, I'm ten minutes tomorrow between, you know, what and what, maybe. Yeah. You know, do it. Like, what would you have to do to do it? And when would you do it? Didn't we just do it? Pardon? Didn't we just do it in one sense? I mean, on a, a simple level, we did yeah. contemplate that image, right? Yeah. And see something that's more beautiful than the body, since yeah. it animates the body and the model. Yeah, sure. And yeah. that was the purpose of it. So they agree with it. Okay. But let me go back to the point. Okay. What would you be doing if you were to, if you were to do it? Now, yes, of course, we just did it. Right. Now, what if you were to do it? What would you be doing? Does that make any sense, bro? I'll it's tell you what. Practice. I'll tell you what. I'll make you some money. Want to make you yeah, money? Yeah, nice. sure. Sorry, Want to make you money? Let's yeah. everybody put a you put a dollar into the pot. See, there it is in the middle of the floor. Barbara gets this. I would propose, or anyone else who wants it. They can tell. So long as they tell us what they'd be doing if they were to do it tomorrow morning uh, at 10:30. Right, or five minutes from now. Okay, are you talking about this up here? This model we just went through? How about yeah, everything we just went through. How about two points? Take it all together. What, how would, yeah. would you have to say, well, I couldn't do that while I'm driving? I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, I, I used to do this kind of stuff. While you were driving? Yeah, I think so. You used to. Yeah, I had a longer trip. Mm -hmm. Like, how would you do it? Really do it. Skymobile. Does that make any sense? Look, would you do it for us? <laughs> well, well I haven't figured out yeah. exactly what I'd be doing if I were to do it. Oh, okay. All right. But I'm hold on a minute. Then you'd, like put a a you'd put in a dollar, too. You'd put in a dollar, too. It seems like that. very reasonable. I how about seeing light pouring into yourself? No. Okay, then that's an active imagination trip you'd have to have. Right? Mm -hmm. That part. Agreed? Yeah, is that a visualization, that visualization thing? Right. Yeah. You feel light pouring in. You feel warm as it pours in through the top of your head. In picture. But you. But but actually, see, this last part, aren't you asked to tap into the actual thing itself? Yeah. You see, what you're doing, it, Bill, is you're picking yeah, it up from so. from its origin. This is an account yeah. of it. But mm -hmm. now that it's there and functioning. Okay. All right. Right. What would you be doing? Okay. Like that would be what you'd know. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Okay. This is what happened. Okay. Now. Okay. The soul's there now. Yeah. Right, now what would we do? Yeah. That's true. Seeing the divinity of soul. Well, how? how? Go ahead. How? Go ahead. How? 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 Yeah. Hard. How? That's a hard practice. You go around saying to one another, "Hi, Zeus." <laughs> What about you as Zeus? I mean, I'm what looking you, for a I mean, that's practice. what he's saying, isn't it? I, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's saying, hey, recognize that. That that, that uh -huh. Zeus quality is in any, everything that, that lives. That mm -hmm. And the heavens and the whole universe. Uh -huh. So then I have to say, hey, have to say, hi, Zeus. Yeah, Wake up in the morning and say, hi, Zeus. Wait, so it, would it be like... Go to bed. Hi, Zeus. Instead of a koan of movie, you would be Who are you Zeusing saying around. Like Zeus. Anyway, was this the Buddha? Just mind? waving back, just waving back, right? Waving Zeus itself. waving at Zeus, yeah, waving at him, right? 
In, instead of like movie, would be Zeusing around? Is that what you do? Yeah, yeah. Zeusing around. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You want to go to the zoos? <laughs> well, like you'd have to know this stuff so behind. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Like you'd have to have this stuff in your head in one way uh -huh. as an acceptable mm -hmm. set of hypotheses of the way of doing the world, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be like courage, though, wouldn't right. it? And then, yeah, right. And then I just say, okay, that's the way I, that's the way I'm going to look at the world for the next yeah. few minutes here. I got nothing else to do. Everything is Buddha mind right. or something. Mm -hmm. right? See, like, is that the same thing as going around saying, "What is Buddha?" No, not no. the same. Thing. No, I but it is. It is trying to. It's what? a ra it's a rational to get you. Trying to get you experience it or see you as this nature. No, not see it as individual and separate. Now, isn't that our problem when they were individual and separate? This brings he's us together. He's saying, hey, just see everything as divine and stop the worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great. Right? Is that what you're saying? Sorry. I'll buy yeah. it. Right? Yeah, and then it's nothing other than yourself. <laughs> and when you can't do it, you're ignorant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all. It's just not knowing at that moment. Oh, you're just separate and individual and having fun and the pleasure of it. <laughs> 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 because, you know, one yeah, of the big problems in all of this game is this word we've come before, right? Agree? Right? Power. The high spirited, what's the most important thing in the philosopher king getting through the Republic? Uh, music and gymnastics. gymnastics. Why gymnastics? Because that does what? Well, awakens awakens the, the, high the, spirit. the high spirit. In man, Otherwise it has nothing to do with strength, away. right? It has nothing to do with physical strength, right? So, mm -hmm. right? It's this stuff. Right? So, okay, next paragraph, just for a moment. Okay, watch. Since the soul is so honorable and divine, since the soul is so honorable and divine a thing, be sure already that you can attain God by reason of its being of this kind. And with this as your motive, ascend to him. In all certainty you will not look far, and the stages between are not many. Grasp then the soul's upper neighbor, more divine than this divine thing, after which and from which the soul comes. Oh. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Chronos, huh? Yeah. Oh. So divine, yeah. right? So now notice the difference. So divine and precious is the soul. Be confident that by its power you can attain to divinity, right? Mm -hmm. He's stressing. A power trip, right? Mm -hmm. Power. You're yeah. saying by its power, you do this trip on hey, by its power, right? You'll be able to do something. Mm -hmm. You can attain your divinity. Which ties okay, in much better to that other paragraph. Okay. Now it's yeah. mm -hmm. um, for although it is a thing of the kind which our discussion has shown it to be, it is an image of intellect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just as a thought in its utterance is an image of the thought in soul, so soul itself is the express thought of intellect. And its whole activity and the life which it sends out to establish another reality. As fire has the heat which remains with it and the heat which it gives. That wasn't, that wasn't good. I didn't read it very much. Why don't you just uh, stay there for a moment, okay? Uh, he's really got something quite delightful, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. He's moving on up, isn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? He, look, he's got, he's got, right? He's got this whole thing right in its totality, right? He's got his whole thing. Okay. What we call it, Zeus. Right? Zeus has a creator. Right. Yeah. Hey, what a what a what an existence it has. Right? Uh, the soul is no more than an image of the intelligence. Uh -huh. Right? Look here. This whole thing, Zeus is a thought in the mind of intelligence. Mm -hmm. God. Man, heavy, dude. Right? Right, this whole thing, right? This whole thing, Zeus. 
Zeus is just a thought in the mind of himself. Right? Like the whole, the eternal, our, we, Zeus is considered eternal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Everything, right? Right? The whole thing, you know, in all of its magnitude, boom, pull it all together. Right? Put a, a label on it. Zeus. What is it? Oh, by the way, you know what that is? Everything, this whole, the whole, everything. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing of which we are just, you know, yeah. just a thought in the mind of intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> right? See what a, what a James into? Yeah. Right? Well, that is to say, you might say he has a divine above Zeus. Yeah. Which stands as Zeus does too. Yeah. 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 So it's not even an act that you can no. think of something else. It's just a thought. Well, that's very, that word, energia, of whole activity, that's really You're important throughout this whole trip. Pardon me, Russ? That word activity on the top page 20 on whole activity and its whole activity, that's that's a real key stone for him throughout this whole thing. This whole exposition. I'm, I don't quite understand it yet, but that has to do with how 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 <coughs> Zeus comes out of Kronos and how or yeah. 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 wanna jump there? Or? No, no, just it's the first oh, time yeah. it's really mm -hmm. Come on. That plays a central thesis. He plays with this image later on in the section of the myths of the Greeks about Cronos swallowing Zeus mm -hmm. and Cronos uh, uh, is swallowed likely by Uranus and so he has the soul in the intelligence and the intelligence is in some mysterious way. <laughs> coming out of the one. <laughs> so here's the whole analogy, right? So that Zeus is a thought in the mind of intelligence as the spoken word, our spoken word, stands to an image in the soul, within ourselves, right? So as, as we are certainly not limited by and our existence isn't limited by the by a spoken word or its image. We comprise obviously great richness beyond that one spoken word and the image of it. So the image so is the same way. Yeah, just to, so in the same way. That's what this is saying, isn't it? Zeus. Is, yeah. Right. There's a you know there's a whole vast region of which. By the way, just this is a thought in mind. <laughs> Where does that put the universe, you know? Pardon? Where does that put the physical yeah. universe? Yeah, all the physical universe. Yeah, it's in soul. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, where does that put the universe? Puts it down a couple, no? Yeah. You know? oh. I mean, this is some heavy stuff. You know? Some trick. Yeah, it's not that the, it's a, it's an image that's in the soul, the utterance is an image. And so the old question of what is that which precedes the spoken word, mm -hmm. that's what the, spoke, the spoken word is an image of that. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And it precedes it. Mm -hmm. All right, so now he gets that big, great metaphysical, just kind of a creation of all creations. Mm -hmm. The soul itself is the image of the word in the intelligence and is the act of the intelligence by which a further level of existence is produced. So See, the it, act of the intelligence that's has the energia. Energia, it's act. Yeah. For the act the intelligence has this further phase, quite as fire contains heat as part of its essence, but also radiates heat. Hmm. You can go the sun and light too, can't you? Mm -hmm. <coughs> right. 
Right, it's really, it's a very interesting emanation image he has, doesn't he? And that, that's an emanation image, isn't it? Right? Like you, he, he reduces it to an image. The whole thing he reduces to that image. Where the act of the intelligence has this further phase. White as fire contains heat as part of its essence, but also radiates heat. This next sentence is. Alright, so he's got the intelligence, you know, like, like the sun uh, radiating mm -hmm. the idea right. of the good on another level. Right? Yeah. It's got that built right in there. Right. But one must understand. And that's the soul. Mm -hmm. One must that's understand. the soul in that now. Yeah. Where? That we just read. That's compared to fire and heat. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. yeah, but then the Zeus. next one is right. really a meaning. Oh, the express <laughs> thought of the intellect? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. But one must understand the activity and love of the intellect does not flow out of it. This was what we first one over a long time ago, right? We did the mm -hmm. Although its nature is distinct, it arrives from the intelligence. The soul is itself an intellectual, intellective existent discursive reason is the manifestation of its intellectual capacity. The soul derives its per perfection from the intelligence, which uh, nourishes it as a fatherhood. But in comparison with itself, the intelligence is not <laughs> it's the soul with complete perfection. Right? So, right? So, above all of this is this. Right? And it hasn't, in all of this, hasn't uh, dropped perfection below itself, right? It's kept it in its left hand pocket. But remember when we did right, a yeah. credit card might be used in heaven. You know, we did both those things. Remember in in showing the model of it reflecting back and there was there was nothing going out until you got to the soul. Then there was a dual there was like a, a reflection as well as a going out. But here they say there's nothing outside of it. So therefore it doesn't lose or gain in the uh, intellect. See, but one must understand that the love activity on the level of the intellect does not flow out of it, but the external activity comes into existence as something distinct. Yeah, we want to do that. But that, that's yeah. different than the soul. That would seem like yeah. that's, that's a different, mm -hmm. there's something flowing out of the yeah. soul. Mm -hmm. It's like the intellect doesn't change. Something occurs from its doing whatever it does, but it doesn't flow out of it. Well, would the external activity there be Zeus, would be the creation of the soul? Well, I'm uh, quite in a sense. Someone answered, though. Rob? Well, what's your question? You see right here? And this, 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 uh, on page 21 there, that sentence. But one must understand that the activity on the level of intellect does not flow out of it. But the external activity comes into existence as something distinct. I'm saying, is this external activity the creation of the soul? Well, I have a question mark by that same sentence, Bill. It's been a cause of it for me. Because it says that... Uh, Where are you, Bill? I'm on 21, the... Uh, 
I think second, the first complete sentence starting page, on page 21 mm. at the top of the page, but one must understand it's the first minute complete sentence, three lines down at the end. It was kind of a closed uh, circuit at, at the yeah. two higher levels. Yeah, the one goes out. <coughs> yeah, and then the soul. Yeah. yeah. And the contemplation, the there's something kind of else emotion. created, but nothing comes out of it. Yeah. Kenna has that a lot different That's like the one overflowing, and that, you know, I was trying to figure out how that works. Well, uh, that's, not, so that's not your question here. No, my question here is, but the external activity, what is the external activity of, that is created or uh, that comes into existence? Yeah. Soul comes into existence. This process, something comes into existence. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah. that what comes into it? Is this the external yeah, it's activity? Distinct, it's distinct from the intellect that flows right. But one must understand that the activity on a level of does not flow out of it. No. So this creation doesn't flow out of it, but it comes about. By the soul. Yeah, that's on another level. Then. Oh, but I'm okay. saying the there's a creation of Zeus, right? Yes. I'm saying is that external activity the creation of Zeus yes. in this yes. image? Yes. Yet it does not flow out of it. That, yet it doesn't flow out of it until that's right. Right. That's you know, I was right. trying to get to right. mind. As and I was comparing that to say in the overflowing that we had talked about some other times where nothing was changed, nothing, uh, yet there is still an overflowing in something created when we move this up to the one in intelligence, right? Well, that, well, that might be true. I think the point that well, what I see here is that uh, he's saying that, that you can only use the intellect to account for a certain range of things. And among them, uh, the, the external activity that comes into existence is quite distinct from the operation of the intellect and what flows out of it. Oh, what comes into existence is different than what flowed out of intellect. Oh, I see. Because the, what, 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 the reason why it's distinct is that's the function of, that is the function of soul. Or if it isn't, right, that means there must have been something pre-existent that the soul enters into that, that is its externality. Yeah. What I'm having trouble right. doing is. But in any case, it's it's not in the realm of the emperor. What I'm trying to have having trouble soul. doing is carrying the soul here and and what's going on with the soul and getting it confused about what's going on with the intellect, and carrying these two together as he le goes from one to the other. Okay. Now See, where where are you where are you now? Problem of different models of activity. There's yeah, activity that's soul right. Is distinct from that's what I'm having trouble. And you have to distinguish that's right. Them. Well, right. I can distinguish them as knowing where he's talking about. Right. The same. Because when he talked, see, I thought when he was talking about fire and heat, he was talking about the intellect. So that's the first place I lost it. Mm -hmm. Because that's talking about soul. All right. Mm -hmm. So once I got that straight, I was already behind. Yeah, that's why I wanted to give soul an image like Zeus. Right, right. So that yeah, keep right. that. See, something is coming out of that. But now he says, no, there's something that when it but comes to... But externality is not one of the things that comes out of the intellect. Right. But it does out of... Soul. Soul. Right. Or its function. Yeah. Right. Okay, now I've got that straight. But then it goes on to maybe it helps to clarify it when it refers to... Intellect is being a father. The soul made by being a father. Yes, quite true. It's, yeah, it's saying that's also you know, kind of filial piety is also to, there. You know, present to it. Right? And like that's an amazing, that's an amazing jump, isn't it? Like going to, to right. 
filial relationship that you express, the relationship between that intelligence to Zeus, to you and I. Yeah, so by the way, this also so says, you can use these paternalistic images here, it'll work. Well, if you read down, just pick that. You can still use those images to express the relationship between intelligence and soul. Soul is dancing. Wow. Yeah, pretty interesting. Yeah, so that's right. Let's see. And that, that, that relationship makes it still more divine. Transition right to intellect as all of you see. Even the matter of intellect is beautiful, right? <laughs> hey, I want to open up this thing over here, you know. Zeus is really a thought in the mind of the intelligence. By the way, intelligence is beautiful, you know, kids. Since it has the form of intellect and it's simple. The whole thing is beautiful. Sometimes it goes into a mechanistic kind of cold, stark metaphysics, all polished metal and mm -hmm. nothing of any human quality to it. You know? and he says, "No, I can use these images of this." So Plato says, "Trust in the Republic." One of the first points he makes about the nature of God and the Republic. Remembers that it's a caring. Mm -hmm. What was that word? Yeah. Oh, Philion. Oh, Philion, as I remember. Oh, Philion. Yeah. Right, caring. You know what it says? It's book two. Um, yeah, that's, oh, Philemon. Yeah, that's, uh, what does that have to do? It has to do with, there's two, oh, Philemon and, uh, what is that? That's the well-being one. Um, no, that's, that's the, well, some you people do that. There's, it's uh, caring. Beneficent, it's translated. Yeah, yes, yes. Right. Well-being is the other kind. Yeah. Okay. Cognitive. Hmm? Yeah. The cause of well-being. Yeah, it's cause of well-being. Eucragia, I think it's, yeah. It's beautiful since it has the form of intellect and is simple. But what intellect is like is clear from this very fact that it's superior to soil, which is of such great excellence. Right? Good place to take a break. That's right? It, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Mm. Huh? Is that interesting? That's why its activity is different. Because it, 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 yeah. its activity yes. leaves itself. But that part of soul remains always. Yeah. 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 Hey, I wish you guys would do it louder. Just that sentence distinguishing the different levels of actuality, the one in the soul of it going out and informing matter, mm -hmm. and the sentence that Bill was puzzling over. Well, if you read the three translations, this one here. Mm -hmm. uh, the O'Brien is, is uh, like, I'll read this one, mm -hmm. and I'll read McKinnon, and you read that one, and see if Yeah. It says, but one must understand that the activity on the level of intellect does not flow out of it, but the external activity comes into existence as something distinct, McKinnon says. But within the supreme, we must see energy not as an overflow, but in the double aspect of integral inheritance with the establishment of a new being. This one goes. Let's see what that does. But this one is different. Yeah, we'll just let it just settle on that one. The one is like the point. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I like the, his language. Okay, nevertheless, the soul does not become completely separated from the intelligence. That's the point, right. Partly it remains in it. So its actuality doesn't go out of it. Mm 
So it's like the thought is contained in it and well, stays with it, but there, but the thought itself is the thing. Well, soul's perfection always lies in the intelligence. Mm -hmm. It never goes out of it. Mm -hmm. The cause of it, yeah. To see if we tried to use this idea of thought, you know, the source of thought in the mind of intelligence. And as a thought, better not leave. Yeah. You know, in big trouble. <laughs> the intelligence stops thinking about it. It's ace of a wiggle. I don't know, this guy, this sounded pretty esoteric here. That one was a little hard for me. Right. Rods? Yeah. That's far, it's, it's that's far, far out, isn't it? right? Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which one? McKenna. 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 It's, it's yeah. But within the supreme, we must see energy, not as an overflow, but in the double aspect of integral inheritance with the establishment of a new being. There's a double. A double what? So there's an there's establishment of a new being, and then there's something else. What is the something else? <coughs> But in the double aspect of integral inheritance. Integral inheritance. Inheritance, excuse me. Inheritance? Yeah. Inheritance. 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 Mm -hmm. inheritance. Double inheritance. How about once more, Ron? Yeah. But within the Supreme, we must see energy, not as an overflow, but in the double aspect of integral inheritance with the establishment of a new being. I don't know what that means. Uh, where, where are you in terms of the numbers? In your text, it would be the sentence right up at the top, the second sentence. But one must understand that the activity on the level of intellect does not flow out. But the external activity comes into existence as something distinct. Well, yeah, leave it there, okay? That's where that was it. Yeah. yeah. But one must understand the activity on the level of intellect does not flow out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Yours? But within the Supreme, we must see energy not as an overflow, but in the double aspect of integral inheritance with the establishment of a new being. I don't know what that phrase integral yeah, inheritance right. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, yeah. that's the same. But you see, you can use the, the image we had before and you and it will fit both the translations. What? See. I mean, external oh. activity is well, created Well, just stay with the image. Stay with the image, right? But one must understand that the activity on the level of intellect, the activity of the intellect, right? It, that's, right? Zeus is a thought mm -hmm. in the mind of the intelligence, right? This is an activity, right? This is an activity, thought. This is an activity. Mm -hmm. And Zeus is different. Right? This is an activity. This is the subject. All right. Well, you're saying, you know, by the way, I want you to make a note of something while you're on it. Uh, the activity on the level of the intellect doesn't flow out of it. It doesn't flow out of it. Mm -hmm. It's within it. Well, because, you know, look what it's doing. The thoughts are in it. Yeah. Right. Well, this like on our level, on our level, it is uh, the, spoken. The, the activity that generated, the activity that generated the image in our mind, which later we can talk about, right? That stays within. That stays within the mind. The activity right. that generated that. Right. There's nothing surprising about that. But the spoken yeah. word yeah. is out of it. Outside right. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, like, we still have. Right. We still have our model guiding us, don't we? So, but the external activity, which is Zeus in this world, mm -hmm. right? comes into existence is something distinct from the activity up here, the, the mind of the intelligence. Because the whole mind of intelligence, vast as it is, is the mind of all minds or some beyond that, right, which has a thought. Like some people say, we're a thought in the mind of God. Yeah. This is going, hey, I got news for you, you got the wrong image. 
<laughs> the mind of God, the whole God, your whole idea of God, right? <laughs> That's a thought. <laughs> yes, sir. <of> intelligence. <laughs> That's a rude awakening. Yeah. <laughs> you say, wait a minute. What do you just do with my Christianity? Let me <laughs> wake up here for a moment. What do you do? Oh, right. Well, I'll tell you. You know, you're just the whole thing, <laughs> everything right. about it, just rants all your premises. You're just a. There you are. You thought you were a worm before? <laughs> Barkley just turned over his grid. <laughs> right? You thought you were a worm before? You're not even a foot on a worm. <laughs> right? So, Rod, read your translation. Yeah. yeah, the O'Brien does pick that up real nice. Where's the O'Brien? I like the new idea. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's three, it's what page is it? 94. Oh, 94. Yeah. It's about yeah. halfway down through the first paragraph. It's right after the fire analogy. Nevertheless. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Read it. Nevertheless, the soul does not become completely separated from the intelligence. Partly it remains in it. Although its nature is distinct because it derives from the intelligence, the soul is itself an intellective existence. It's an intellective existence. Oh, it's a thought. It's a continuing thought. Yeah. It never leaves. Yeah. It's the higher aspect of soul. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's two sides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The upper part. Right. That's right. All right. So, soul's activity goes out. No, we believe that's that's right. Right. Yeah. 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 It goes out because of that. Your mm -hmm. Intelligence it is the root of, it, of externality. But right. try your translation. Yeah. Yeah. But within the Supreme, we must see energy. Right. Not as an overflow, right. but in the double aspect of integral inheritance with the establishment of a new being. Say that. You can derive, you can take that, you can see yeah. that. Yeah. Both of them. Okay, but this one's right. clearer. But this is clearer. Yeah. 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 So we can we can have a collective one, right? We can need all that. Cut out. Yeah, sure. Really and anything else you can get. <laughs> right, indeed. Right? We can have a new. A new uh, addition. That's why you have great sentence for each. Of <laughs> <laughs> oh, the word processor. Something. The Noetic Society edition. You need one of those readers. That's why I can have man's enlightenment. Read the page under this. Like yeah. In the intelligence. Right. Oh, it's Higher part of the page. I'm wishing to put the uh, three translations. But it also in puts man on the level of salt. <laughs> well, which is intellect. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because if, if man was not on the level, of, they could not yeah. see that. The sack of the so that throws Christianity in the see, see why? See why Christianity uh, yeah. did what they did to this guy? Sure. That, but that put you in the level of God. Yeah, which, so then Zeus fully <laughs> wings <laughs> right, when he leads up to the banquet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Going up into the intelligence. Huh? Sure. Go out there and look <laughs> over at the ball. Hey, what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> <laughs> little acid trip, right, Paul? <laughs> Zeus on an acid trip. <laughs> Zeus on an acid trip? <laughs> yeah, I think he is. Right? So, Ambrosia. Isn't it, isn't it curious? Isn't it, that's kind of an irony, isn't it? And this is why it's heretical. Like, if you understand it, you can't help seeing it that way. <laughs> right? I mean, well, that's a gotcha. Doesn't it? No fair. <coughs> so I sure take you out of that camp, I heard. Yeah. Right? Go ahead and consider it. Enter into the realm of the intelligible. Boy. Such an interesting metaphysics, isn't it? Find it? Find it? Pleasing? It always has been, I think. You know, there are an awful, I think there must be a lot of people cooking with gas, you know. Because this crazy little O'Brien has been a, a consistent hit. You know? I mean, someone must be crazy about it. Oh, yeah, they brought it out in the whole room. Yeah. Well, <laughs> was that a print uh -huh. once? Yeah, this one. Yeah, now right, now. and then we got it. Yeah. The, uh, the people in literary criticism, O'Brien, 
one? They're into Plotinus oh, somewhat. And literary criticism. And literary, and literary criticism, yeah. yeah. Well, Hofstetter's yeah. book on aesthetics has whole sections That's of uh, Plotinus. Ago, mm. Mm. I bumped into that while well, I was up at Irvine. Mm. They, uh, they swiped it. Yeah, yeah well, then, right. you know, philosophy gave it up. And that whole discussion about you know, the beauty and language and stuff. Mm -hmm. They read that. Yeah. Looks like we're going to stay on this for a while, right? Oh, I tell you. We did this over at the Women's Center so long ago, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, but by the time you're done with this book. Right. That was, that was <laughs> BR. See the trace of the one. BR, was it? Before, before the Republic? Before the Republic. Oh, yeah. That's when I first came into New York. First, hmm? first meeting I ever went to. Was on this? Over at the Women's Center. Hmm. Remember you had the pictures drawn, overflowing, then it had, it had, oh yeah, was it was the one, and then there was uh, intelligence, mm. and then there was soul. Mm. And the thing I remember, it's a pleasure was, to go back to it. I remember it the thing about soul was that you had a du dual nature, one was a reflection and the other was going out, mm -hmm. but the intelligence only had the reflector. Quality and the my and the, the one had only the reflective quality. But that overflowing, I seem like he's yeah. talked about overflowing with the one. Yeah. Didn't he? Yeah. But the one overflowed. The one overflowed turns yeah. back on itself. Turned back on itself, and that's how he came up with intelligence, right? Mm -hmm. But he says it does it. It says it's Begin. not like energy. Overflowing there in the intelligence. Right. It's, it's different. It's different all the way up, isn't it? Uh -huh. So it's the model copy, like we're dealing in the Republic. The actuality is different. It didn't say it doesn't flow. It just says it doesn't flow out. This particular piece. That's right. You, know, you can still get that reflective quality. That motion. You know, we talked about the motion the last time of that. <laughs> Unchanging motion or whatever it's called. Like. Yeah. Well. Wanna get on the committee? Committee? <laughs> <laughs> a committee. Just say yes. No, I will not. Okay. Then you're a nominated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh boy. All right. <laughs> We want you to study these people while they're doing the times. What do you mean? If they could do a whole study on me, why do you mean muddle <laughs> Well, we're going to have to have, we're going to keep watch. You can take members on your committee if you want. I like everybody here. Now, wait a minute. You're going to have her doing what's going on. She's going to be the watcher. <laughs> She's going to be the watcher. That <laughs> tricky guy. Uh, I'm catching on to him though after all these years. <laughs> what about that? Watch what you do. Yeah. It's a trick, so mm -hmm. you'll have, we'll, we'll, we'll have you up here giving us a report of what you've watched, and the next thing you do, we'll ask you what to watch you do. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thanks, <laughs> Then you'll be saying that what you're doing is not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> And then pretty soon you'll thank you uh, for a copy of the intelligence. Some coffee. Yeah. Yeah. See all this. Oh, she lights up like a light bulb with a car or something. Getting into something that has this kind of structure to it is fun. Oh, yeah. <coughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. Is that right? No, no. You want to be on her committee? Well, hey, I'll give you a. <laughs> yeah, Nancy, why don't you join me? 
She's actually a psychologist. She studies psychology. Oh, that'll help. So you need someone technical, technical assistance. I need someone that's an intellectual Right. Someone who can measure your state of mind. Right, exactly. I volunteered you for that. Oh, gee, thanks, Bill. <laughs> You're a real pal. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it's certainly one of them. Very interesting stuff. The trick is to take it out of the cosmology. Yeah, the copy of this in that old edition, I think there are sections where every single line and every page is underlined. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> I don't do a bad job at that with my red pen either, Bill. I had extended trust. You know, I have books already on the line. <laughs> my route, my route is just 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 the whole thing and send it out. <laughs> just underline the whole book. Colors, different colors, right?